back to my channel. Today I am comparing the new Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Setting Powder to the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I love this powder from Charlotte Tilbury. It is like my ride or die. It took me a minute to kind of understand what this powder is and how it works. But once I figured it out, I've been madly in love with it ever since. If it's gonna replace my Charlotte Tilbury, it, I'm gonna have to really wear it with multiple foundations and just give it a really good test. I wanna show you guys what this looks like side by side, how it applies, how it instantly blurs and all of that because I am wearing Joey on one side and Charlotte Tilbury on the other. So let's get into the description about the Joey powder. So this is called the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. It retails for $30. It has 0.21 ounces, which is six grams. That rounds out to be $5 per gram. It has six shades. It is a demi-matte finish. It is supposed to be hydrating. It smooths the skin. It has a blurring effect. It is a flawless finish, non-caking, non-drying. It has hyaluronic acid, and it also has vitamin E. Those are the ingredients that they use to allow it to be more hydrating. The description on the Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury is $45. It is for 0.28 ounces for eight grams. So that is $5.60 per gram. It, it only has three shades. It is also supposed to be smoothing on the skin. It's a micro fine powder. It is described as a cashmere veil over the skin. It is a brightening powder, non-cakey, shine reducing, and it has rose wax and almond oil in it for the hydration. Those are the differences on these two. To. Now, I got the shade medium in this. When I first saw the shade, I was a little bit concerned about it because I felt like it was a little bit too dark. But actually, it's not that dark when I put it on the face. It didn't really change the look of my foundation for me anyways. I'm a medium with a golden undertone. I will leave a full list in the description box down below of foundations that I wear and the shade that I wear just so you can get an idea of this shade on my skin tone. But in the Charlotte Tilbury powder, I am medium two. So the medium two from Charlotte Tilbury is much lighter than this one from Jouer, as you can see. I, I don't know, it, it, it's interesting. I was a little bit nervous about it, but when I put it on, I didn't feel like it changed my foundation shade and I don't feel like there was a, you could see a clear difference between the Charlotte Tilbury and this one from Jouer. You can feel that it's hydrating. Like when you run your finger over it, you can feel that it's very hydrating. It's very silky and a very smooth powder. I would say the difference is the Charlotte Tilbury is a, it's not as hydrating. Like when I feel them, I'm gonna put one in each finger. So I'm gonna put the Jouer on this side. You can see that shine. You see that shine on there? It does have a sheen to it. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury. So if I rub my fingers together, the Charlotte Tilbury feels more microfined, like it feels like it's um, a little bit finer of a powder. This one feels much more hydrating. So those are the differences between them. I do feel like this is a micro milled powder, but I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more micro milled. Like I feel like it's really, really micro milled. Um, it's very, very fine, very fine. For those of you that use the Charlotte Tilbury powder, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. This one is the Jouer, don't mind the dirty fingernails. <laughs> this one is the Jouer and this one is the Charlotte Tilbury. So you can see that the Jouer has a shine to it that the Charlotte Tilbury doesn't. What is in my fingernail? Who knows? The Marc Jacobs one has a sheen to it, so I wanna see if the sheen is the same. So this is the Marc Jacobs one. That one from uh, Jouer has a really nice sheen to it. So this is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Powder, this one right here. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury right here in the middle. And then this is the Jouer. I don't know, like, the Jouer has a sheen to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it has a sheen to it more so than the Charlotte Tilbury Powder and more so than the Marc Jacobs Powder. Very interesting, look how smooth that is on the finger though. If you look at the Jouer one, it really filled in those lines in my fingers. This one kind of laid over the lines and this one kind of is a little patchy on the lines. 
This one's really smooth. Can you see how smooth that is? It's very interesting. Look at all three of those powders on the finger and just how they go down inside the finger and the lines and stuff. This one just looks very smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into me applying it, showing you what it looks like when I apply it. I do come back six hours later and do a touch up because I wanna show you guys in real time what it looks like to touch up. And then I will take both of them with me. I will wear it pretty much the entire time I'm gone, kind of play around with it. And then when I get back, I will do my full final thoughts on the powder and if I like it better than the Charlotte Tilbury, we'll see where it goes. So without further ado, let's jump right into the application. Okay, so I have both of the powders here. This is what the packaging looks like. So this is medium two from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is medium. So this is a this is a tad bit darker. Let me swatch it for you so you can see. So this one is the Joey, and this is Charlotte Tilbury. So you can definitely tell that the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit lighter. So hopefully that won't be a big issue when we're applying it, but we'll see how it goes. I like to apply my Charlotte Tilbury powder with this brush. This is the Sonia G Face Pro brush. I absolutely love this brush. In fact, this brush is what made me fall in love with this Charlotte Tilbury powder because I had had this powder for a while and I'd never found a brush that applied it the way this brush does. As you can see, I've put no setting powders on my face, absolutely nothing. The only thing that I have on is some bronzer and blush. I have no powder, I didn't set my face. I'm actually testing out this foundation, which is the NYX Born to Glow, so it is a little bit more on the glowy side. As you guys are seeing this, this that video will already be up on my channel, but this is a glowy foundation, so I thought it would be fun to maybe test this powder on this glowier type foundation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury powder right here in my T-zone area. This is the place that I like to apply the powder, is right here. It really blurs out my pores. Now I don't go too far up because I don't like to set my concealer. I just, I've tried it so many different times and it never works for me. Now to kind of get up and around my brows, I just take a smaller brush and I kind of just go up and around and I'm gonna leave this part clear so that I can put that powder on the other side. But I like to use this smaller brush just to kind of go around and get in those little crevices that that bigger brush doesn't. So this is about all the powder I put on as far as the Charlotte Tilbury. So let's go ahead and wipe the brush off, which is another reason why I love this brush. It wipes off really, really well. I've went ahead and wiped the brush off. I'm gonna go into this powder. I've got some here. I am going to put a little bit on this side right here above my brow. Now that it's on, I don't really see a difference between the shade, but I like the way this powder looks on this side. Like, as you can see, this just smoothed it out more than the Charlotte Tilbury did. I'm gonna go in one more time. I'm gonna wipe this brush off one more time. And I'm gonna go back into the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Maybe I didn't apply very much, but let me... I don't know. I really like the Jouer side. I like that. So this is the Jouer side, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury side. All right, so that's it for this application. We'll see you guys in my final thoughts. So it's been about six and a half hours since I applied all the powders. Uh, it is currently almost five o'clock. I wanted to come back on and show you guys what this looks like uh, six hours later and then see what it looks like with the touch up. Uh, comparing you know, the Charlotte Tilbury to this. I will say I was worried that the shade might be too dark, but it's not. Like I have not noticed that it changed the shade of my foundation in any way, and I'll wear it with a few other different foundations that I have. 
just to see if it did change the shade of my foundation because this foundation I'm wearing is a very glowy foundation. Like it is blowing my mind with glowiness. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe off my brush and I'm gonna go into the Jouer powder and just do a little bit of touch up right here. I'm gonna take this brush right here and wipe it off. And I'm gonna go in and just kind of go around my brows. Kind of make sure I get into there. Gosh dang, that looks so pretty. This is a very soft powder, but it's not drying at all. Like you can see, as soon as I put that on, it just smoothed everything out. All right, so I've got the brush wiped off. I'm gonna go into the Charlotte Tilbury. wipe this brush off okay so I've zoomed in you can see it's just much more smooth right here than it is here let me come in really close okay don't judge but let's come okay in. I've come in extra close So far, I'm liking the Jouer side. I feel like the Jouer side just has more radiance to it. Um, it's very hydrating too. So not only does it give the skin a radiant effect, but it also you know, blurs out those pores. That's the thing that I loved about the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. I mean, it's been my ride or die for the last couple months because I love it right here in this area. Oh, I'm excited about it. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts on this Joey powder versus the Charlotte Tilbury powder. And, you know, it's been a while since I recorded um, my first application, my first impressions of this powder, and also like the intro and stuff. It's probably been about three weeks since I filmed all of that. I was on vacation for a week and I didn't wear any makeup for about nine days in between. So I have been wearing this, I think, long enough to kind of give you guys a rundown on the powder. What I like about it and what I don't like about it. There's a few things I don't like about it, but as you guys know, the Charlotte Tilbury is kind of my ride or die. Like once I understood how this powder works, especially coming from me because I was so against powders, I still don't put powders underneath my eyes just because it's just too drying and it just attaches to every wrinkle and just just completely dramatizes those wrinkles and so for me it's just best that I don't put any powder underneath there I just have not found the right powder I guess but I have tried this under my eyes the problem is I bought shade medium and it's a little bit too dark so when I put this on my under eye it you know, I, it's not that I want a really bright under eye, but this is a little bit too dark for me personally. Maybe the shade light might be better, but it was just really, you know, it's a darker shade than I prefer. So I think if I repurchase this powder, I will probably purchase the light shade. There are six shades in this powder. If you're going to buy this powder, I would go a shade up. So, you know, if you're fair, I don't know what to tell you. It might work for those of you. It depends on how fair you are. But if you're light, I would buy the fair. If you're medium, I would buy the light. You know, if you're um, tan, I would buy the medium, that type of thing. Like, just go a shade higher. I didn't. Shade medium is a little bit deeper and it applies a little bit deeper than what I'm used to, which is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Now, I wear shade two medium in the Charlotte Tilbury powder, but it's still light enough that it doesn't, um, it doesn't, deepen my foundation. This doesn't deepen it, but it does give a darker tint to it. Let me get into how I feel about this. Now, there are several benefits about this powder in particular that I do like. I do like that it has the hyaluronic acid. What's nice about hyaluronic acid is it just allows your skin to not dry out throughout the day. So it's kind of nice for a powder to have hyaluronic acid infused in the actual powder itself. The Allentoin in this like really softens and 
kind of gives that healthy looking skin. So I like that it has that ingredient as well. And obviously it has vitamin E in it, which we all know that vitamin E is really, really good for your skin to have those antioxidants. It has really good ingredients. And don't get me wrong, the Charlotte Tilbury powder, it has rose wax and almond oil, which those ingredients are going to help hydrate the skin and just give that kind of airbrushed effect. So you can use this powder any way you want. You can use it to kind of set your foundation, go in with your blush. I have used this to set my foundation, and then I've went in with a cream contour over top of it. It doesn't really like a lot of cream contour, so my recommendation, if you're somebody that likes to use cream products, whether it's contour, blush, bronzer, anything like that, I recommend not using this before those products. I have used the Charlotte Tilbury powder to kind of set my foundation and then moved on to a cream contour, which is what I prefer. I really don't contour with powder products and it's never disrupted the powder, but I don't go in heavy with these powders either. It's not like I'm applying a lot. I normally apply just enough right here in this area. My area is right here over those pores to just smooth everything out. Like right here through the forehead, it just gives that nice soft appearance. So, but, I will say it doesn't seem like this powder kind of meshes well with cream pot contours. So just know that, which most powders don't, but I have been able to wear my Charlotte Tilbury prior to applying a cream contour. If you are into cream contours, I would just recommend using this as a full finishing powder and not wear it as a setting powder. I will say that this one is softer to the touch. So when you run your finger over it, it feels a little bit more hydrating than the Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like these powders are very comparable. There are some differences, and I think it depends on what you need out of a powder. So if you've tried the Charlotte Tilbury powder and maybe it's a little bit too drying for you, this might be a nice option. Now, the thing that I will say, I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury powder lasts longer throughout the day than the Jouer powder, only because I don't feel like I have to reapply when I wear the Charlotte Tilbury, and with the, when I wear the Jouer, I feel like I need to reapply. And I think that's obviously because it does have that, you know, the hyaluronic acid in it, and so it's kind of more of a creamier, richer type of a powder. And so it seems like it doesn't last quite as long as the Charlotte Tilbury. They're comparable in price because the Jouer powder has less than the Charlotte Tilbury powder. And I don't know if you're like me, but I go through my Charlotte Tilbury powder like quickly, like. This is my second one since I have fallen in love with it and I've already hit pad again. So this is a powder that I do have to, you know, buy quite frequently. I would say it probably lasts me about three months and I have to repurchase, but I love it so much. It's totally worth it. I love how smooth it makes this area right here. The T-zone is just, it's so magical in the T-zone area. And this does these same things. So this does give that blurred, you know, look to the skin. It kind of gives like that filtered airbrush look, just like the Charlotte Tilbury. So here's my thing. If you use the Charlotte Tilbury powder and you were thinking about buying this one, I don't know that you're gonna love this one any more than this one. I haven't watched any other reviews. Maybe people are out there that really love this powder and have tried this powder and have not looked back. I think it all depends on what you need. If you have dry skin, I recommend using this one just because of the hyaluronic acid in it and it does hydrate the skin. It kind of locks the hydration in and so this is a nice option for those of you who do have dry skin. But if you're already using this and you already love it, I don't feel like this is gonna give you better results than the Charlotte Tilbury. Personally, that's just me. And that's not because I'm a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan because I actually really love the Jouer brand as well. And I love their blushes. There are some differences, but there's really not a ton of differences. There's slight differences. They're both very, very comparable powders. And that's why I just kind of feel like if you're already used to the Charlotte Tilbury powder, or maybe you're kind of over the whole Charlotte Tilbury powder and maybe you want to try something different, this is definitely a nice option. This is a demi matte. I would say this is a little bit more on the mattifying side, but this is a demi matte. And don't get me wrong, I'm all about having, you know, I don't like matte anything, but this is a soft matte. It's like a 
it's like just a refined matte. It's so finely milled that it kind of just literally airbrushes your skin. And so that's the reason why I'm excited about the foundation from Charlotte Tilbury is it is supposed to be that airbrushed type of foundation, but that is exactly what this powder is. I feel like you're not really saving that much money, so I don't know that it's worth dumping the Charlotte Tilbury for this based on price, but I do feel like if you have found that the Charlotte Tilbury powder might be a little bit too drying for you, let's just say you've tried it, it's a little bit drying, this might be one that you would want to pick up. I hope that that kind of helped you to understand the differences between these powders. There's not a lot of differences, but those are the differences that I have seen so far and I hope that it was helpful for you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for the love that you show me and my channel. It means the world to me and I want you guys to have a wonderful day filled with love and joy. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.